First, plug in the power cable and wait for about 5 seconds. The LEDs on the front will blink alternately in red and blue. When the blue LED remains steady and the red blinks cyclically, the access point is successfully activated and the device is now in setup mode. Install the Becker Central Control app using the following QR code or enter Becker Central Control in the search field of the App Store or Play Store. Start the app and select the Central Control CC41. You'll be advised to ensure that the CC41 is in setup mode. If the central control is already in your network, for example, when connected via cable, it will appear under detected central control devices in your network. Now, at the beginning of the setup, choose between normal mode and installation mode. Normal mode requires entering network data and configuring it in your home network, while installation mode configures it through the access point and network data will be entered later. Allow your smartphone to connect to the CC41's access point and tap connect. If you are asked for location permissions, please allow them. The app needs this to locate your central control in the network. Select your Wi-Fi network from the list of available networks. Enter the network key and tap connect. Caution! Please do not use guest networks for operating your central control. Guest networks typically restrict communication between your smartphone and other network participants like the central control. The CC41 LED will indicate a successful connection with its blue light. If the connection fails and the front LED of your central control remains red, there may be an error in the network data input. To reset, press and hold the reset button at the bottom of the AV socket until the LED confirms the process with red and blue blinking. You can navigate through the app's menu items by swiping left and right. Alternatively, you can quickly pull down the current menu item to display a quick navigation. Select the Rooms option and tap the plus symbol to create a new room. Enter the name of the new room and tap Add Room. Open the room by tapping on it. For better recognition, you can optionally assign your own photo or a standard image. To add a receiver, tap the plus symbol. Select the appropriate radio system and follow the instructions in the app and in the user manual of the device you wish to connect. Choose the desired receiver and it will acknowledge. Tap PEV. Name the receiver as per your preferences. To exit the settings menu, tap the back symbol. You can directly move to a desired position using the slider in the middle. or you can switch to the control using up, stop and down buttons. You can assign timers to each receiver using the alarm clock icon at the bottom of the screen. Use the green highlighted symbol above the receiver name to enable or disable the timer function for each device. This function is also available for groups or scenarios. You can create multiple switch times for a receiver. In addition to various templates for living areas, individual timers can also be created. In addition to freely selectable switch times, there are also Astro functions for mornings and evenings with individual Astro offsets, as well as blocking times available. Press Create Now to save the timer. You can now see the created timers at the bottom of the screen. For example, you can see when the respective timer will trigger next. Select the Groups menu item. Tap the plus symbol to create a new group. Enter the group name and select the devices you would like to add to this group from the drop-down menus. Tap Add Group to save the new group. Select the Scenarios menu item. After tapping the plus symbol, you can enter a name for the scenario you want to create. Tap the plus symbol to select the desired receivers and actions. To save, tap create. Tap the plus symbol again to select additional receivers and actions. Tap create and confirm by tapping create scenario. 
In the menu, select the Automations option. Here you can manage and edit previously created timers and create new automations. You can save receivers, rooms, scenarios or groups as favorites on the home screen of your central control app. To do this, press the gear symbol in the control and select the option to add to home from the menu. Now, choose between display control or action. Under action, you can select from various commands. Tap create and confirm by tapping create favorites. You will now be automatically redirected to the home screen and the newly created favorite appears. Simply tap the icon to trigger the assigned action. Select the settings option. Then, in the system menu, choose setup remote access. Enter the required information into the corresponding fields and confirm the process with register. Check your email inbox, you will receive an activation link. Please also check your spam folder. Tap the link to complete the setup. You will be prompted to enter the access credentials you just created. You can now tap login. After the configuration is complete, the device will appear under the assigned username in the device list. You can mark this center as a favorite under the three dots. When the app is then opened, the connection is automatically established immediately.